What is up, everybody? It's Superverse TV here today. Just when you think it can't be, it can't get any crazier with these Sony fanboys. They have, they stoop to new low levels <laughs> each and every day. They stoop to another low level. They just can't believe. Like this guy says, he says, no other fan base would do this. What is he referring to? Why do you see President Biden on your screen right now? So apparently President Biden was talking about different companies consuming other um, other companies to be like a pretty much a monopoly and somehow it led to a sony fanboy <laughs> which is so pathetic but a sony fanboy said hey mr president please look into microsoft 70s billion dollar acquisition of activision blizzard microsoft has been getting away with antitrust for decades now because of their money and power it's time to stop them like really oh man we have reached a new low where the sony fanboys are now asking the president the leader of the head of the united states to stop microsoft from acquiring activision to have more exclusive games these guys are completely nuts at this point like i said you you think they couldn't stoop any lower? They go lower. It's like, wow. Just wow. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And then somebody posted like, uh, a, like a graph of what like all these different companies own. And this is the, all the different studios and publishers that Microsoft owns right here. It's like a little circular ch chart, visual, a visual chart of what you can see what these different companies own. Microsoft owns like a little portion right here, almost like the same amount as EA, a little bit more than Sony, a little bit more than Take Two, but nowhere near the amount of Embracer Group, which I don't even know what Embracer Group even is. This is my first time even hearing about this Embracer Group. They own a lot of companies, a lot of studios. <laughs> Nobody even talks about Embracer Group. This is like, this is like, I don't even know what these even are. I never heard people talk about Embracer Group whatsoever, but they own a lot of stuff. Almost, they, they almost own as much as these other studios combined. Um, this whole chart is pretty much half, is almost pretty much Embracer. So, but Microsoft was a monopoly. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. I don't want to say it's a monopoly. Yeah, this they don't own anywhere near to having a monopoly. And then, this is trending right now on Twitter. Boycott Pepsi, whatever situation they got going on with Pepsi. But this is what Pepsi, the Pepsi beverage company, you think, I thought they was only beverages, but apparently they're more than just beverages. <laughs> they own a lot of stuff. <laughs> but this is pretty much a monopoly. This is what I would call a monopoly right here. Look at all the stuff they own. All these different beverage companies that you, I didn't even know these had anything to do with Pepsi whatsoever, but apparently all this stuff is owned with PepsiCo. And then the food as well. So that is quite fascinating how people want to call out Microsoft being a monopoly when well, they are nowhere close to it. And not to mention Disney as well. That's another company that owns a lot of stuff too, but <laughs> we want to scream monopoly about Microsoft though. They're like these guys are clowns. These Sony fanboys are clowns. Go on to the president because you're mad because Sony is getting Microsoft made a power move and Sony is feeling the effects of it. Like these guys are just pathetic. <laughs> like legit pathetic. They took it to the top, Mr. President. We have a situation. <laughs> the copium OD so high it can't be measured by any scale that exists in this world. I also replied to her. Yeah. LOL, holy S, just when I thought I seen it all, begging the POTUS to stop the acquisition from happening is a new low. Definitely is a new low. It's like, geez, these guys don't mind embarrassing themselves. They embarrass themselves on a daily basis. <laughs> like, you would think you would at least feel some shame or something, but these guys just keep going. It's like, geez. Biden must be a champion at Xbox, bringing six hour games, Game Pass value, and more places to play. Nice work, POTUS. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the president just ignored that comment. Like, are you people are legit talking about like serious concerns, like um having you making sure your internet service provider is a monopoly because some places only got like one internet service provider. Making sure they can get like the actual stuff to deal with this pandemic, like vaccines and stuff like that. But they're going to the president talk about some Microsoft owning some studios, buying Activision Blizzard. I don't like. <laughs> If it was a hotline, I'm pretty sure the person with a hotline would just hang up on that person. Like, really? You literally gonna call me about Microsoft buying some studios? Like, 
Oh man, these guys are just embarrassing. Like, just, you just think about that. This is like something you would see like on Family Guy or like South Park or some type of sketch, uh, sketch like that. But this is real life, pure people. People are literally going to our president about Microsoft buying studios. Jeez. Oh, this week, when someone told a center or something that they need to look into this deal, I said they were going to the president next, but I was only kidding. Damn. <laughs> LOL, they are crying to the president. <laughs> LMAO, the desperation in that tweet. I'm starting to think Sony fanboys are suffering from depression over console wars. Yeah, they are taking this console wars like it's an actual war. <laughs> like it's a legit war at this point. <laughs> The salt is real Jesus. Yeah, that is definitely real at this point. Wow, they took it that far. <laughs> when Spider-Man 2 comes out, we should tweet the president that picture of all the Xbox Spider-Man games. He'll totally understand and stop Sony monopolizing the superhero games. This is cringe AF. Definitely cringe. A lot of cringe with this post right here. <laughs> A lot of cringe. Mr. President, please, I beg of thee, stop Microsoft. And they legit said stop Microsoft in that tweet, too. That's the crazy part about it. It's time to stop them. <laughs> like, what? What? Oh, man. Wow. Sony fanboys are like something else, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something else at this point. Stop them from acquiring Activision Blizzard. Oh, man. <laughs> OMG, what children. Oh, no, she tweeted the president. We're in trouble now. <laughs> the fact that they tweeted the president of the United States about this nonsense is just ridiculous. Come on, this is not true. It is, yeah. This is not Photoshop. This is what someone actually did about these consoles, about a piece of pla a plastic box. They legit did this. Desperation mode. Definitely super salty right now. This is pretty embarrassing, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I would I would not be in association with that person, bro. I would not, I would try to move, remove myself far from that person if I was associated with them. Who goes to the president about some video game? It's like like what? This is just stupid. It's just ridiculous. Six days and a crying face continue. Yeah, this Activision Blizzard deal really broke these guys' brains or something. Like, I'm gonna keep saying it. It legit made their brains malfunction or something. It's just like, wow. A new low even by their standards? Oh, God. Facepalm. <laughs> deal with it? Yeah, you should have just said deal with it. Like, uh, <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> Bro, a physical media advocate and a Japanese game lover. This is against a Western video game. This is against a Western video game maker. Go figure. Sony makes first-party hardware locked on their hardware. But just don't let Microsoft buy a couple more studios. Yeah, not hypocritical at all, clown. <laughs> so won't be the market leader and charge the seventy bucks lock it down to one box as third-party exclusives. No crossplay. She is right. Please, Mr. President, look into Sony. Oh boy, it's called Desperation. LMFAO, I'm not a big Xbox fan, but this is this is on a whole nother level. <laughs> you see, Mr. President, I have been going after them for years for having no games, but now that they are buying games, it is totally not fair. Something is in the water, man. <laughs> Uh, that's what it is. Something's in the water with these guys. <laughs> it's definitely mostly the Sony fanboys. This is definitely the most craziest group I've ever seen on the internet by far. <laughs> the craziest video game fandom by far is these Sony fanboys. They take it to a whole nother level each and every time. Like these guys are just nuts at this point. <laughs> LOL, no way. The fact he thinks this is Monopoly just exaggerates how much he does not understand. They call the POTUS an Xbox when he can't do S. <laughs> Biden ain't gonna do S. Oh, man. Xbox totally has Monopoly, right? <laughs> this is all these for game studios. 
Uh, let's see. U.S. electric system is so broken. Microsoft was the one of the biggest donors. I very much doubt anything will change. Really, I'm not even gonna address that comment. The <laughs> LMAO so sad. Like, what other reaction do you have to this besides it's just being pathetic? Like, what other reaction? What other genuine reaction do you have to this other than just being pathetic? Like, these people are just a joke at this point. Oh man. This whole Kage is a dumb effing C word. Okay. This chick keeps getting herself caught in 4K doing some dumb ass <laughs> LOL first with LED and now this. Come on, console where cloner is one thing, but this is the extra step that goes past. It ain't serious. Moving into I'm legit mad and now you about to get roasted. <laughs> Bruh, Xbox can't get y'all this pressed. Obviously, so they're going there reaching out to the president. Over some over Microsoft getting Activision Blizzard. This is just insane. This is sad. Regardless if you're an Xbox or PlayStation gamer, government should be in our hobby, specifically gaming. Once we start complaining to the government, it will become the norm in the gaming. Just because you don't like a certain platform is crazy. Definitely agree with that comment. Oh God, it's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody look at this as here. This is the most depressed us I've seen. This is a PlayStation Pony new low here. Shaking my head. Oh, this is just too good. <laughs> Can you imagine if this happened like do or any other generation? Somebody going like Donald Trump or Obama or George Bush about some video games? Oh man. This is a crazy time we're living in. <laughs> this is a crazy time that we're living in right now. How long is this video? Yeah, I'm gonna conclude it right here. It like there's literally no other reaction I could possibly think of other than this is being absolutely pathetic. Going to the president because Xbox buys some studios. And like I said, they're not even close to Monopoly because of this chart right here. They're nowhere close to a Monopoly that people want to say it's Monopoly. They're nowhere close to it, but. It's funny how people can say that Xbox has no games. And another breath say Xbox has Monopoly. It's like pick one narrative. <laughs> Please at this point, just pick one narrative. But I'm going to conclude it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like if you like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.